Hey, I'm The panel builder plays a vital role during an electrical installation project. From mechanically assemble the panel to making sure that all the complicated wiring and communication are implemented correctly and fully tested before shipping to the end user. In addition, handing over factory accident test reports, drawings, and single light diagram to the contractor and end user is not only required by the electrical installation standards, but also the best way to demonstrate the work has been completed. It also provides a useful point of reference for the entire life cycle of an electrical panel. So today with Ferris, we will walk you through Ecostructure Power Commission, a powerful electrical panel commission software, a great companion to help panel builders to deliver electrical panels more effectively. So I, the panel builder, am working on the hospital electrical installation project. I've just finished the switchboard assembly and I'm going to use Ecostructure Power Commission to commission the switchboard before the factory or site acceptance test. So there are two videos covering the entire process in detail. In this first video, we will take a look at three topics for creating the digital representation of a switchboard. And we have another video that will explain the Ecostructure Power Commission's testing and commissioning functions. Firstly, let's download and install Ecostructure Power Commission. To find the latest version to download, type Ecostructure Power Commission in Google. Follow the wizard to install Ecostructure Power Commission on your laptop. If you are a first-time user, you need to create an account using your email address. If you already have an account with other Schneider Electric software packages, such as Facility Expert or Ecostructure Power Build, you can use this existing account to log in to Ecostructure Power Commission. On the landing page, you can either create a new project from scratch or access existing projects. An Ecostructure Power Commission project here represents a real electrical installation project that normally contains one or multiple switchboards. So let's get started by creating a new switchboard project for the central hospital. Here, you simply need to provide the basic project information such as its name and your company information. Adding a logo here is very useful as it will be used later by other functions in Ecostructure Power Commission. And here we have various fields relating to the end user. We recommend you to fill out this information to optimize how your projects are organized and archived. No problem if not, as you can always come back at any time to complete or modify this information. Now we can access Ecostructure Power Commission's main user interface. Let's follow the instructions and start by adding a switchboard to the project. We have two switchboards to set up today, a main low voltage switchboard for a hospital substation and a switchboard for some hospital office buildings. So let's first create the main low voltage switchboard. Now I'm going to give the switchboard a name. Then from the list, choose the relevant standard and switchboard type. Here you can normally find all the main Schneider electric low voltage and medium voltage switchboards. Should you have other types of switchboards, just select the generic LV or MV switchboard. Then, in this field, enter the serial number of the switchboard. It can be your own switchboard manufacturing serial number that is usually found on the panel nameplate. Each serial number is unique. Or, you can let Ecostructure Power Commission randomly generate a serial number for you, simply by clicking on Auto Generate. Here we go, we've just created our very first switchboard with a unique ID, and at the same time, a QR code is automatically generated. This QR code now becomes the ID card of the switchboard. You can download and stick it on top of the respective switchboard. It will make it possible for you and your customer to access all relevant project information when you need it. We will look at this fantastic feature in another video. Now let's repeat this process to set up a second switchboard. Now let's select our first Oaken switchboard and click plus again to add all its devices. This Oaken switchboard contains several so-called connected devices. They connect to the Ethernet communication gateway inside this Oaken switchboard. And here we have a really nice function called Auto Discovery that you can use to add all connected devices automatically through the Ethernet port on the gateway. So here, in a few seconds, all the connected devices are listed. Now let's go ahead and add them to the project.
just a little heads up here. Sometimes, when you are on the unused premises, the hospital substation in this case, Ecostructure Park Commission may not able to find a device automatically due to the static IP address configuration of the customer network. So, in the network connection setting, you need to change the IP address using the designated range of IP addresses. Now all the devices have been added under the main switchboard. You also have a communication view that better illustrates how devices are connected, which is very helpful. Depending on the model of device, you can access commissioning functions such as breaker protection settings, device configurations, password settings, breaker trip tests, function upgrades, firmware upgrades, and more. We will cover all these functions in another video. And you may ask yourself, what if devices are not connected to a gateway? Am I still able to add them anyway? Now, let us show you another handy way of adding devices using the QR code. Let's jump to the Prisma switchboard and click on Add Device. This time, we're going to choose the second option, QR Code Scan. In fact, most Schneider products are fitted with a QR code, and if you use a generic QR Code Scanner, you can easily add them using QR Code Scan. Most generic QR Code Scanners on the market are compatible with Ecostructure Power Commission without any configuration or installation whatsoever. We use Zebra DS3678 in this example. Connect the scanner to your laptop via USB. Scan the barcode on the screen to enable Ecostructure Power Commission to recognize the scanner. And then simply scan the device's QR code to add them one by one. Actually, each scan will save the device's serial number and commercial reference. This information is crucial for the product's future technical support, maintenance and services throughout its life cycle. Now with all the key devices added to the Prisma switchboard, all device information is saved. That's awesome! Now I'm going to save all project documentation. Before doing so, we need to set up a community. A community can include only you or several members. It allows you to share documents with colleagues working on the same project. Everyone in the community will receive an email with access to the shared documentation. Well, you may ask yourself, why you need to set up a community with multiple members here? For example, you are in charge of testing and commissioning, thus the primary Ecosocial Park Commission user in your company. But your colleagues, such as a designer or project manager, needs to review, update, or upload documentations. This community allows them to access and edit the documentations without installing Ecosocial Park Commission on their own laptop. And any community once created, can be used in future projects. Well, if you don't need to set this up, you can just create a community for yourself. Uploading documentation is very easy. You can simply drag and drop all the relevant documentation, such as drawings, single line diagrams, reports, lists of spare parts, etc. Ecostructure Power Commission will save the documentation in a secure cloud repository. Each file can have a tag, and you can choose it from the list. This will help you organize documents more efficiently, making them easier to find in the future. Great, we have successfully prepared the digital representation of the switchboard project. You now have the bill of materials, documentations, and QR code all set up. By the way, if you are familiar with the nice report function of Ecostructure Power Commission, which can provide you a holistic view of all your commissioning work done and generate a project report automatically. This report is added automatically in the document list, a wonderful time-saving feature. Once all of this looks good, and guess what? We are now ready to hand over to the electrical contractor or end user. To do that, we are going to export the data to Ecostructure Facility Expert, a powerful application designed for team collaboration and equipment maintenance management. Ecostructure Power Commission and Ecostructure Facility Expert work seamlessly, allowing information to flow from the construction phase to the operate and maintain phase, which is crucial for keeping the equipment in good condition. Let's look at this in another video. Thanks for attending. Hope it was useful. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.